In the history of modern finance, few events loomed as threats as the 2008 financial crisis. Widely understood as a catastrophic failure to the global financial system, its roots run deep down into the hearts of Wall Street and the halls of the powers of Washington, D.C. But beneath the surface of the mainstream, narrative lies the untold story, a story of recklessness, greed, and missed opportunities that culminated in worldwide economic capitalism. When the American housing market was booming, low interest rates, tax lending standards, and the widespread belief that housing prices could only go up led to a frenzy of house buying and speculative investing. Financial institutions were hungry for profits, and as such, they eagerly handed out mortgages to even the most risky of borrowers. As the housing bubble expanded, it had far more reaching effect on the broader economy. Home builders raced to meet the growing demand, creating a construction boom that foiled job growth. Homeowners tapped into their home equity, using their properties as ATMs to fund consumer spending. Wall Street embraced the MBS market as a lucrative investment opportunity. However, beneath the surface, cracks were forming. Mortgages began to fail. The strength of the monthly payment also increased. Many house owners, even those with good credit, found themselves unable to refinance or sell their home as the markets began to cool down. Meanwhile, a parallel financial universe was quietly evolving, the shadow banking system. This system composed of hedge funds, investment banks, and other non-bank financial entities. They all operated with less oversight, poor regulation, and no overview nor auditing. They thrived on complex financial instruments like credit default swaps, which offered insurance against MBS defaults. In the shadows, they engaged in insider trading, complex financial activities, lending, undocumented borrowing, creating deeper financial products and services that went on the record. All this little oversight had a very big toll on the financial market, but no one saw this coming. In 2007, signs of trouble began to emerge. Banks faced massive losses on their mortgage back services and collateralized debt obligations, eroding their capital reserve. The initial shockwave that rippled through the financial system sparked panic and loss of confidence among investors, ultimately setting the stage for a broader and more catastrophic financial meltdown that would follow subsequently. The crack in the fake head of stability and prosperity that had been carefully maintained by financial institutions began to crumble. The prices of homes began to plump head, mortgage began to get defaulted, and it became very clear that the once booming housing investment had become a bubble that was about to burst. What was going to be the counter plan? With a global financial system on the brink of collapse, the United States government stepped in with a massive 
Pillars Plan, the Troubled Asset Relief Program (TARP) injected hundreds of thousands and billions of dollars into struggling banks to prevent their complete meltdown. However, this rescue plan was met with outrage from the public who saw this bailout as an opportunity of institutional irresponsibility for the crisis. Wall Street faced public scrutiny and calls for stricter regulation, leading to the Doc Frank Act. The untold story of the 2008 financial crisis is one of unchecked greed, risky financial innovation, and regulatory failure. It serves as a stark reminder of the consequences when the pursuit of short-term profit trumps responsible financial practices. Hello out there, just a quick drop by. If you'd like to have professional video as this, then check out the video description to gain access to FlexClip as the proud sponsors of this video. They are the ultimate online editing video software and creation tool with artificial intelligence integrated features that makes it stand out and different from others that you've seen and would see.